What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and it's been a while since I've made an emulator video. So I'm gonna be showing you an updated guide how to play your favorite Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and just playing Game Boy games on any iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch running the latest firmware. So this is an awesome new method that is basically permanent. It'll allow you to download and play ROMs of your choice for you know all three of those emulators, and it works absolutely flawless. It's the latest version of a Game Boy Advance for iOS 2.1. It's got wireless syncing, a setup for cheats, Dropbox for saving all of your stuff, and I gotta say, it works great. So if you guys wanna go ahead and relive those childhood memories, this is the way to do it. The best part is it is permanent. Now, what I mean by permanent is basically, at the time of making this video, you guys can download this and use it, and it will not go away as long as you guys have it installed. So two months from now, if this is uh, no longer working or up on the website where I'm gonna have you guys install it, then uh, you know it's not permanent, like you can't install it always, just as long as you have it installed, it'll keep working and it won't just one day not work because of a certificate issue. Technically, this isn't even working in the first place. There's just a bug to get it working. And uh, this method wasn't found by me. Dino Zambas is the man. He found out how to do this. And I'm gonna link you to his original video down below if you wanna hear it from him. But anyways, let's go ahead and install Game Boy Advance for iOS on the latest version of iOS 9.3.1, 9.3.2, and 9.3. This does not work on 9.2.1, 9.2, or below. So you do have to have one of the three newest firmwares. Just to show you guys uh, real quick, I am on 9.3.2 right here, and I'm gonna show you that I am running a Game Boy Advance emulator successfully. It is working. I will also show you on 9.3. 9.3 and Game Boy Advance for iOS is working. So sorry for the long intro. I just wanted you guys to know what's going on. This is absolutely free. Let's get to it. All right, so let's navigate to Game Boy Advance for iOS app. Dot com GBA for iOS app.com link will be down below underneath Dino's link so here you want to go to the download section and then select this right here so initially you will not be able to install this it'll stay grayed out basically telling you you cannot install it now this is the new age of jailbreaking guys I mean as long as we don't have a jailbreak we're still gonna have tweaks you know things we can install just we're gonna have to find different workarounds anyways it says unable to download app so select done and let's jump over to settings. So there's a new date trick, uh, like the good old days, it's somewhat similar. So go to date and time and disable set automatically. Now we wanna go and scroll all the way back. You wanna go around like 2014, 2013, 2012 era, wherever it lands, it just has to be way far back. It doesn't really matter. Anyways, when you click on it again, it'll go ahead and install this time around. So there are a couple drawbacks, but it's nothing that'll break your experience or anything like that. It's just a little minor inconvenience, something I'm willing to put up with in order to play these games. I mean, absolutely. So this time around, it'll go ahead and install and you should have no problems. Again, if you're on 9.2.1 or below, it will not install no matter how far back you put the date. So now when you click on it, it'll say this. We wanna go ahead and trust the profile. So we're gonna go back uh, into settings and we're gonna go to device management and you wanna go ahead and trust this, trust. And it'll say it was unverified and you cannot verify it until you go ahead and put your time back to the current time. So we wanna go back to date and time, set automatically. Now we go back to device management and verify it. So it's a lot of work, I know, but we go back to date and time and again, you wanna drag it back to who knows when, just before 2012, you know, 2014, 2013 era you're good in 2010 even. So uh, now we can go ahead and open Game Boy Advance for iOS. So let me explain how this is gonna work. You know, you're gonna be able to use Game Boy Advance uh, no matter what, if Apple kills that website, no matter what, you'll still be able to use it. Because technically, this game isn't even working right now, it's just a glitch. So if we actually set our time back, which you can, and we try and open Game Boy Advance for iOS, this is what you get. Game Boy Advance for iOS is no longer available, but, the whole workaround is, thanks to Dino, is if you actually go into your app switcher, you can go back into the app, you know? So whenever you restart your device, whenever you force close it inside of the app switcher, you'll no longer be able to open it until you set your time back. So we wanna go and let's say I just restarted my device. I wanna set my time back a few years, you know, 2012 era is good. 
now I'll be able to open it. Then, as long as it's open in your app switcher, you'll always be able to go back into it, just not directly from the app icon. It's a minor inconvenience, I know, but guys, you will be able to play all of your childhood memories, the best Game Boy Advance games here, and it's all worth it. So a uh, note, while your time is back, uh, if it's set back, you will not be able to use this option right here to download games. It has to be the current time. So let's go ahead and search for Game Boy Advance ROMs. Now I do have to warn you guys, disclaimer, please only download ROMs you own in physical format. And you actually do get a warning on MU Paradise as well. And this is one of my favorite places. It's easiest to download ROMs. Now you can download the ROMs from within Game Boy Advance for iOS, or you could go to Safari and do it. It'll work just the same. So let's say I want to get Pokemon Ruby. Now we'll scroll down, click on this link, and once again, and you want to go ahead and select download. So this is where it warns you that you should probably own this in physical format. So you can rename it. I like to keep it clean. All right, so Pokemon Ruby. You'll see the progress bar up here and it's downloaded. Now, unfortunately, there is a bug in the list. Sometimes they don't show properly, they'll be blank. Uh, so be warned, but it works perfectly, guys. The uh, haptic feedback is great. It feels almost like physical buttons. The games run in perfect frames per second. You don't need to worry about that. I have it running perfectly on my SE, 5S, any device, it'll work on perfectly. So the good thing about this emulator is it's the updated one and there are so many options in here. I mean, you can even wirelessly link with your friends, trade Pokemon, do all of that cool stuff. And uh, I would recommend, highly recommend that you guys go ahead and set up Dropbox Sync. So download Dropbox on your device, install it. And uh, what I'm talking about is this right here. So when you go back into Game Boy Advance for iOS, you will actually have an option to sync it with Dropbox and to save all of your data there. So no matter what, if this stops working sometimes in the future, you will be able to save all of your data in here. And it's absolutely awesome. It's a great feature. So this is just a little bit. There's so much here. You can directly update the app from within here, but we're on the latest version already. You know, lots of good stuff. You know, thank you to everybody for making this possible, all of the developers. So uh, there is auto save, you can manually save within games, but guys, this is the real deal and it is absolutely awesome. So thanks so much for watching. This is how to play Game Boy Advance games, ROMs on any device, iOS 9.3.2.1 and 9.3. Enjoy this and all the nostalgia that'll follow. Peace.